Here's the beginning of the Coyote Creek Trail at Tully Road and the Coyote Creek in San Jose and uh, give you a good report. So this is uh, Coyote Creek. Great pathway uh, all the way down to Morgan Hill. I'm starting in the middle of San Jose to Tully Road crossing uh, kind of community library there at Tully Road. Nice place to start uh, the trek. And again, it's a paved road all the way, bike path, and one of the longest uh, that you can have. And it's just some beautiful scenery here along the creek that I'm enjoying. And uh, it's the middle of the week on an April, so pretty green here in California. And uh, on a new e-bike, a Trek e-bike, with a different kind of uh, motor than I'm used to, so I'll give you some more reports. I hit this trail in April, right after San Jose had experienced some his historic flooding right along this creek and other places. So there's some places where I had to bypass because the water was overflowing, and some parts of the trail were washed out further down towards Morgan Hill, and uh, I had to figure out ways around that. But th it should be back to normal uh, by this time. It's still overwhelming the bike path at this point, so I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit to get over across the other way. I'm not going to try to forge through that. That's going way too fast. So it's a real toss-up. Would I rather be golfing today or on my e-bike? I'll tell you one thing, get a whole lot more exercise and benefit being on this bike. So the vote today, e-bike. Here's a bridge across the way. Another one. So, this bike has got narrower handlebars and it's got the uh, road wheels, maybe hybrid wheels. I'm not as fond of it as I am with my mountain bike that has the fatter wheels and, and, the, wider, uh, and the wider handlebars. And my mountain bike would be f just fine uh, on these trails, uh, but uh, I wanted to give this out a try, but so far. And the uh, power controls aren't as uh, elaborate as uh, the ones I'm used to on my high, uh, my high bike uh, uh, S-Duro. So here we go again. Let's see what happens if we run into uh, flooding again. Stopped here to have some lunch. Just a gorgeous trail. So one of the places that you pass by, this is an airfield, but look at the size of the runways. So this is a model airplane flying facility. This is what you avoid. You know, who wants to deal with that? When you can when you can do this look at these flowers as i'm riding by oh they smell wonderful whatever they are bluebells something there's such a great fragrance i'd put it on a video if i could on this remote path between san jose and morgan hill they have nice little picnic areas uh, you backpack or take your lunch um, They've got these tables. I didn't realize that, so I took mine on a tree stump a while back, but uh, look look what's here. Again, they've just laid this out so beautiful. It's serene, you're away from people, you've got wildlife, all kinds of birds. Look what they've done for infrastructure, beautiful bridges. There's a sideline trails here as we get closer to Morgan Hill that you can explore the creek. This is a great trail. So here's the corner of Malakira and Morningstar. And it's the Anderson Lake County Park. And right there on that corner is the start, or the end, Coyote Creek Bike Trail.